Hey, what's going on guys? It's Delvidge and today I'm going to be bringing you an Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Now I know a lot of you guys on the channel are familiar with programs like Photoshop, like Sony Vegas, but I have gotten a lot of requests to do a tutorial on this specific program, Adobe Illustrator. And if you don't know what it is, well, it's basically a program that you would use to create corporate logos, company logos, anything really professional, anything that you're planning to blow up or print out this is definitely the program that you want to use over Photoshop because of one main thing and that is because this program Adobe Illustrator creates vectors instead of rasters rasters are the pixels that you'll see and vectors are mathematical formulas that you can create in Illustrator that will be able to be blown up to any proportion uh, which is why it's favored for creating professional logos for companies and other stuff like that so with that being said I'm not gonna go over everything because there is way too much to go over this program is massive and probably more intimidating than Photoshop I would say but I am definitely going to go over the beginning stuff for you guys that you'll need to know in order to get started with the program so the very first thing you need to do is go to create new when you open up Illustrator for the first time and it's very important that you follow the steps that I'm about to give you the very first thing you need to do is go to web or print or whatever dimensions that you need you can set that up whatever you want but personally I'll just go to web and choose 1920 by 1080 and the most important thing you need to do is change this from pixels to inches this will make it so that it is a vector not a raster you definitely don't want that and then the color mode here at the bottom if you're planning to print your workout choose CMYK also if you're using this for a corporate logo or a company logo or anything like that, that you're going to be selling to someone definitely go for CMYK but just for the purposes of this video go with RG GB, it's better for web anyways I'm gonna click create and we'll be given a blank rectangle I'm gonna hold alt and zoom out here so we see more of what we're looking at and I'll start at the very top so at the very top we have our basic options and I'm not gonna go over them because well they're pretty basic and you can just basically click down and it will show you what you need to do I will go over one of them later on in the tutorial but for right now I'm going to start on the left hand side in these tools and I'm gonna to go to the rectangle tool right here and the reason I'm not starting at the very top is because we need something to manipulate in order to show you guys the other tools and what they do so I'm gonna click the rectangle tool right here and also if you right click we can see the different options you can choose eclipse polygon star whatever you need to create it'll be there for you I am gonna go with a rectangle tool here and I'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard so that it creates a perfect square and I'm just going to click and drag it's kind of difficult to see and that's because we have a black stroke and a white fill and all we have to do to change that is go to the very top here change the stroke from black to none and then change the fill from white to whatever color you want and for the purposes of this video I will just go with red so now we can see our square so I'm gonna go to the very top left again and show you the rest of the most important tools so obviously here at the start we have the selection tool and this is the tool that you'll be using to select the objects in Illustrator or whatever you're working on it's very very important you're gonna use it for a lot of what you're doing so I'm gonna demonstrate really simple just select whatever object you are working on and it will select it for you and you'll be able to move it as you like the tool below that is the direct selection tool and this tool lets you select anchor points on an object or shape to manipulate them to your liking so for example if I only want to change the top left of this little box that we've made double click on the anchor point and as you can see it only changes that anchor point if we wanted to change the bottom one we could do that just double click on the bottom and as we can see again it changes the anchor point below that we have the magic wand tool pretty straightforward if you've watched my other Photoshop videos below that we have the lasso tool below that we have the pen tool and this I'm gonna go over because it's more important in Illustrator than any other Adobe program in my opinion the pen tool is what you're going to be using to create traces of images to help you learn Illustrator a lot of the time what people will do is they'll go on Google and they'll find an image that they like of clip art or something and they'll import it into Illustrator and what they'll do is they'll use the pen tool to kind of trace around the object on the trace that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense trace the object on the trace what am I saying but basically what I'm saying is they'll take an image off of the web and they will import it into Illustrator and again they will trace it with the pen tool and again if you wanted to change the colors of this all you have to do is go to the selection tool and then click it and then change the stroke if we wanted a brown stroke we could add it if we wanted a black stroke we could add it we could change the size of the stroke from one to nine if we really wanted to we can change the color to orange I don't know something like that and we'll just leave it for that 
uh, right there. But yeah, that was made with the pen tool. And also, you can have no fill if you wanted and only in the stroke. But again, there's a bunch of different options. I'm trying to go super fast so we can get to all of them here. Below that, we have the type tool, and it's pretty straightforward. Just click wherever you want the type to go. You can change the font here at the very top, and I guess I'll just go with Nexa bold here. I'm gonna change the font size from 12 to 72 so we can see it. I'll type Delvidge here, really simple. And there's other text options at the top if you want. Again, you can change the color and stroke, but I won't go over that because we've already done that. Below that, we have the line tool, really straightforward. It creates a line, and again, you can manipulate the stroke and fill. Below that, again, we have the shapes tool that we've already discussed and went over. Below that, we have the brush tool, and this is really useful if you are a artsy guy. If you're the type of guy that likes to draw traditionally, you can get yourself a drawing pad off of the internet, and you can use the brush tool to really create what you want because a mouse is never going to be as accurate, in my opinion, as a pencil and paper. And you can buy drawing pads online so that you can connect it to Illustrator, use the brush tool, and literally draw on your computer. It's really, really cool. And again, obviously, there's a bunch of different options for the brush tool, but I'm not going to go over them. I'm sure there are separate tutorials on YouTube for those itself. Below that, we have the shaper tool, and this is pretty simple. All you have to do is draw the shape you want, and the shaper tool will create the shape for you. So here I'm just drawing a triangle, drawing a square, drawing a rectangle, drawing a circle even, or an oval, and it creates it for me. Then we have the eraser tool, and this is again really straightforward, simple. Just click and drag, and obviously there are settings you can change to increase the width or decrease it or whatever you want, but the eraser tool, again, pretty straightforward. Below that, we have some sizing tools. The rotate tool is pretty simple you can select something and rotate it as you want you can also change the size of it using the scale tool and we can increase the size of that if we wanted to below that is the width tool and I'm not gonna go over that today below that is the transform tool and this one's pretty cool generally you want to use the full distort transform tool because then you can really choose what you want you can choose the anchor points and just really uh, make it crazy looking if you wanted to right so you can see how I changed that just because I used the transform tool to that extent. The other two are pretty straightforward as well. They just change it a little bit more. So perspective is, is you know, just changing the perspective. And then this one up here, the free transform tool just allows you to rotate it and scale it as you like. Below that is my favorite tool in Illustrator and it is called the shape builder tool. And what you can do with this tool is if you select a bunch of objects that you've created like this, and then you go to the shape builder tool. You can hold alt on your keyboard and it will delete certain things. So what it basically lets you do is it lets you create objects around other objects and then delete them from within. It's like the craziest tool ever and I love using it for when I'm making logos and stuff. I'll give you an example here. I'll go over to the polygon tool underneath the rectangle tool. Again, right click and then choose polygon. I'm gonna hold shift and drag so that's a perfect polygon here. I'm gonna let go of shift and press down on my arrow keys to lessen the sides. So now I have a triangle, right? I'm gonna go to the selection tool and move the triangle to a certain location here on this red blob that we've made. I'm gonna go back to my selection tool and select everything on our artboard. Go to the shape builder tool. And as you can see, these two things become separate. And if I hold alt and right click, it will delete it from our object. And as we can see, when it's all said and done, we have made a triangle in this blob and it's really useful if you want to create certain objects or shapes within logos and stuff or designs and it's my favorite tool personally in Illustrator. Now below that we have some pretty basic tools that are in Photoshop as well for the most part. To the right of our screen we have a few important things that I'd like to go over. First of all we have the transparency. So essentially if you wanted to go to the layers here which is right here, layers is another thing that I want to mention. Uh, you can create and delete layers just like Photoshop. You can add another artboard as well which is what we're actually working on. So if we wanted to create a separate artboard all we have to do is click the add artboard and as we can see on the right side it creates another artboard for us to work on. But I'm just going to delete that for right now. Next, I'm going to show you some basic things from the top left menu. If you always, if you ever want to find a specific window or you accidentally click out of a window or whatever it may be in Illustrator again, it will always be in window and you can find it here. View, effect, select, type. 
are all pretty straightforward as well but the object is one that I want to go over so essentially if you want to group certain objects together so that when you're moving them say you want to put a triangle right here but you want these two to be grouped well all you have to do is use again the selection tool at the top left select both of them or all of them or whatever you want and then go to object and group or alternatively you can press Control and G and then once you select it it'll all be selected so you don't have to individually go and select the whole thing again once you select that one piece of the object that was grouped it will all move together and it will also go under any effect that you put on it the last thing that we need to do is save it properly so again make sure you have it all finalized and looking all good go to file export and depending on if you're printing it or not uh, you can go to save for web if you're only using it for the web or if you're printing it you can go to export as and then change the file type that you want and uh, that is basically it guys that's the basics of Adobe Illustrator I went through that really 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 fast I could go over a lot more in this program if you wanted, but I won't be able to do it in such a short time span. I'm going to need a bit of a longer video to do that. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating. Good luck designing in Illustrator. I hope this video helped you. My name's Delvidge, and I'm out. Peace.